Hi there. My name is Justin Root with Better Day. We're the makers of Coffee Plus, a better way to start your day fast and keep your fast going. We've enhanced organic coffee with vitamins, minerals, and probiotics, which is what I want to talk to you about today. Right now, you can't buy hand sanitizer. I went to the grocery store and it was completely sold out, even though they had a shipment in yesterday. That's great. The CDC says we need to be washing our hands. We need to be using hand sanitizer if we're touching things in public. It's really important to stay safe out there with all this craziness going on. I'm a big believer in plants. I'm a big believer in herbalism. I know they have a lot of power and potential, but I'm not a crazy quack. I'm not going to tell you to mix a potion of lemon juice and tea tree oil and oat milk and bathe in that and you'll be fine. But let's not be a dummy. Let's Let's do what the scientists say we need to do right now. It sounds like we're going to be moving towards social distancing to flatten the curve. You can Google more about that. What I want to bring to your attention is as we're using hand sanitizers and washing our hands like we should be doing anyway, we're killing bacteria. We're killing pathogens, which is great for protecting our immune system, but there's a small cost to that. And that is we also kill some of the good bacteria. So it's helpful to think about how we can support these bacteria. And here's why? Quick math for you. A stick of a carrot in the ground has 32,000 genes in its genome. The human genome, how long is that? 19,000 genes. How is that possible? How is the human genome shorter than the carrot genome? Well, I might have an answer for you because 90% of our cells come from our microbiome. Remember, there's 100,000 trillion cells that line the inside of our body. We also have a microbiome on the outside of our skin. And those cells make up 3,300,000 genes, or 170 times the number of genes in our genome. Mind-blowing right? We're really just a cloud of bacteria walking around there. So as we're using these hand sanitizers and washing our hands all the time and just staying hyper um, sterilized, uh, we're killing the bad, but we're also killing some of the good. And we clearly need these good guys with us. They're who we are in a lot of ways. So it's important to remember to take care of your microbiome. How can you do that? Reduce the amount of sugar you're eating that's going to feed the bad bacteria and it's going to overpopulate. Eat plenty of prebiotics, the fibers that the probiotics need to live and thrive. Eat plenty of probiotics through fermented foods and fermented drinks, your lactic acid pickles, your sauerkrauts, your kimchi, your kombuchas. Um, for, go fermented foods. And if you can't do fermented foods, you can always supplement with probiotics which brings me to Coffee Plus. We put a whole blend of probiotics and enzymes in here to make sure that on a daily basis, you're getting some of those probiotics and enzymes. If you're interested in learning more about fermented foods and probiotics, I strongly encourage you to check out this really cool book. It's called The Art of Fermentation. It's not a short book, but it covers a lot of the science behind why it's helpful for our bodies, but also all the amazing ways that we can consume probiotics and nourish our microbiome for amazing, delicious foods. So check it out. If you're lazy and you don't want to do that, check out Coffee Plus. Again, it's a better way to start the day. Guarantee a baseline of probiotics in there. Most importantly, stay clean, stay safe, and if you need to, stay away from people who are sick. We don't want this going out of control. Do what the people say. Don't be a hero out there and keep your health first and foremost. And uh, ultimately, I hope you have a better day with better day.